Hey there, it's Brittany and I'm back with an unboxing video. This is from Hole in the Wall Beads. So Nina had um, mystery boxes or mystery bags. And I normally, like sometimes I'm really wary of with mystery boxes and bags and things like that because sometimes they can go awry. But I really trust Nina. She has a wonderful business and I've been working with her for almost, oh my gosh, almost two years now. So um, I'm buying from her and I'm so excited to bust into this. It's huge. It was like a pound. No, it's got to be heavier than that. I can't remember how heavy she said um, these were, but this is this seems pretty heavy to me. And it was $45 in shipping included. So um, let's bust into it. So excited to see what's in here. I'm already seeing some fun stuff. See a little sticker from Whole Nobis. That's so cute. That's so cute. And then she gave me a coupon code to use sometime during the rest of this year. So, oh my gosh, this bag is jam packed. I'm hoping there's some good stuff in here. So first off the bat, I'm seeing some little spacers. We've got some little gold spacers. Cute, those will go right in the spacer drawer. <laughs> I just posted my, um, I just posted my studio tour, so I'm super excited to see what you guys have to say. Here's some metal plated acrylic. These are great for like, light or weight projects these are, look like shells but not really and i can paint them those are really great i i tend to want to paint anything silver these days because um the the uh, plating can wear off and or tarnish and then the patina paints are great for covering that up um we've got some ear wires always can use those um these are some um earring blanks these are clip-on earring blanks I've got a toggle. We all know I love those. I actually almost used this in something today. The easy part here is that I have some of my metal drawers next to me so I can just toss stuff in there as I unbox it. Um, we've got some tiny eye pin or head pins. We've got some bigger skulls. I don't know if I have this size skull. That's kind of cool. They're bigger and I would love to put some little rhinestones in the eyeball sockets. Those are cool or even just paint them a little bit more black than they are. Some more um, spacer beads. Good, just plain spacer. Oh, these are nice. They're little acrylic beads. Oh, they look they look almost like dragon scales or like re reptilian. This looks like an egg. Those are really cool. I like those a lot. Um, here are some links. I don't know that I'd use these the way they are right now. They look a little yellowed, but if I felt like it, I guess I could paint the, paint the little rhinestones. I don't know that I would ever remember to do that though. Just maybe paint them black. Oh, some more gold, uh, tone spacers. Those are great. Um, you know, I never really understood how to use these. I need to look that up. I used them as a kid when I was making jewelry and like literally everything I used them for snapped because <laughs> I didn't know how to make jewelry. <laughs> so, um, these are end findings, but I, I don't really, I don't know if you crush them onto the cord. I think that might be what you do with them, but I used to like tie like monofilament to them because I had no idea what I was doing. The YouTube didn't exist and it was, I look at a book. No, I didn't think about doing that. So I know I've always used those incorrectly. Oh, these are really cute. They're little connectors. There's five in here. Those are really neat. Oh, we got a small strand. Oh, I think these are, I think these are actually, I think these are check glass. These are really cool. I don't have this color. First of all, I'm struggling finding like orange check glass that I like, and these are awesome. They're bright, bright orange. Those are wonderful. I love those. Oh, we got one of these. I think I either have this, maybe not this size, but it's cute. I like it. Um, I'm pretty sure I have something that looks like this. These are nice. Um, I don't know if they're ceramic or glass. Let's see. Uh, 
Uh, you know what? I don't know if they're ceramic or glass. They could be either. Um, yeah, I think they're glass. They're pretty. Oh, a long strand here of some wood beads. Those are nice. Good spacers. Bunch of smaller wood beads. Very nice. I'll keep those for sure. And the cool thing is like, if it's something I'm not gonna use, I'll just put it in my sell pile or my giveaway pile and we'll go from there. Cause I know there's gonna be stuff that just isn't my taste or that I already have a lot of and I know other people would definitely appreciate it. Um, here we go. These are some um, multi-strand connectors or, or clasps. So you string each different strand. So this is a five strander. And you don't have to put it in the back of the necklace. You can put it on the front just because the clasp is connected to it. And then here's a three strand. And I love that. I love that with the little rhinestones. Those are nice. These are some glass beads. Oh, very nice. They're like gray and white. Very nice. Oh, I, I think I bought something very similar to this from Nina before, and I'm super excited to get more. So it's some kind of, oh, yeah, it's a connector. So there, you can kind of hide your connection point with this. So you could connect onto here, just a clasp or, or just make this the ending, but look, it's hidden. There's a, an inset hole there. So you could put your, um, your wire or your um, bead stringing cord up through that hole and put your crimp right here or whatever you're gonna you're not or whatever and that way you can't see the end of your cord going into your next connection piece I love that like that hidden piece just takes your piece or that hidden part just takes your piece to the next level and this is just a connector but very cool and then oh they're actually they're clasps okay you can use them as clasps or connectors so very neat, love those, especially this one. I wish I could find like a bajillion because I would just do everything like that. Some more toggles. And these just look to be the rings. This one's really nice. This is, um, that's all, that's nice copper. This one um, is just the plating. I feel like the plating wore off of this one, but it still is very antique looking. And this one's just silver. The cool thing about toggles is you can always just use them as a connector or a ring. You don't need the toggle part. What do we have here? Oh, some tiny wire and a bright, bright yellow. Very interesting. Another toggle. Um, I don't know if these are seed beads. I don't know what these are. You know what, it's like sealed closed with, I don't know if there's tape on there or if it's melted closed. They're little tiny, little tiny beads. Huh, interesting. Got some bead caps. Ooh, more of these toggles. I love these, these are so nice. These are really nice, like very, High quality solid not just plated you know it's funny I was going through some mixed up toggles I had and I, I, I separated them all out and um, I was because I've been organizing my studio and I found one like this but it was gold and I hadn't seen it before so it's funny that another one popped up and it's silver and it's matte oh a cute little um, dream catcher Cute. What are these? These are little connectors. I've seen these before. So you hang um, beads down in front of them and you can um, layer them. So if you wanted like a layered earring or a layered pendant, those are kind of neat. Ooh. Some nice little silver seed or spacers. These are really cute. A plastic Buddha. I might use that as um, 
a mold um, so I can make some of my own. That's actually probably what I'm gonna do. Some seed beets, cute color, it's like a pink luster. These look like vintage, yep, I knew a minute, right Right when I saw them, I knew where they came from. This is gonna be Chelsea's beads, cause they just, it, some bead sellers just carry beads that you recognize. Like I can recognize certain beads from Jesse James beads, certain beads, for, like check beads, certain beads from different sellers, and I just knew these were gonna have come from Chelsea's. These are vintage acrylic, and they have been around the block, even though they're still considered new old stock. You could see lots of scratches and well-worn, and maybe they've been in somebody's stash. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna keep these for sure. They're so pretty. Got an agate pendant. So it's it's got some black, and then into smoky gray and brown. That's really nice, it's a nice drop. Um, we've got some shell. So orange and tan. I'll probably separate that out and put it in my um, my newly organized shell drawer. Hematite. It's this strand here. It's funny because I just, again, organizing yesterday and I found a vintage necklace from my grandma Myrtle. And um, it, was, it had some of this hematite. It was an 80s necklace. So if I wanted to make something go with it or make it longer or something, redo it, I could use these as perfect some lamp work glass and crystal and regular glass so oh no one broke um that's okay I've had that happen before with these beads they just sometimes aren't the best um, if they haven't been um, annealed probably that can happen um, or, you know, it could just be shipping. I'm just gonna glue that petal back on. That's really cute, actually, as its own little bracelet. Oh, it is a bracelet. It is a bracelet. It's cute as a little bracelet. Don't even need to do anything. Very cute. My goodness, there's so much in this box. Okay, so we have some little glass drops. I think they're check glass. Those are really cute. Little raindrops. And this says pink morganite. Cute, cute little oval coins. All right, so there's several of these in here. Let me pull them all out and put them into one baggie. Ooh, those are nice. And they've got like a matte finish, but if I roll that off or wash, if, even if I wash the beads, now, I think they're glass, but they're so cool looking. I love them. They look like little just glass chunks. I love those. Those look really nice with like African, recycled African beads for sure. I'll just give them a little rinse and they'll be good to go. Got a purple um, glass strand. Don't think it's, yeah, I don't think this is... Um, check glass, but it's cute. <gasps> Ooh, some cloisonne. These are gorgeous. Purple. I don't know that I have any purple cloisonne. Really pretty. Oh, that purple and the green looks so nice together. I'm going to have to find something really good for these. These are a little too bright. <laughs> I was like, oh, wait, we just had some purple beads. Um, some more of the chunky beads, but these are a little bigger. Oh, and there's some glass or some silver and champagne color foil on the inside. Those are nice. Those are really nice. Some spacer beads, these are from Hobby Lobby. Silver, very nice. And some rings, oh that's cute. You could just um, hang them from an ear wire and you'd be ready to go. A oh, cute little acrylic flower. Some lamp work beads with some swirls, oh my gosh. 
I'm like so into swirls. I just saw something else with swirls on it. I was like, oh, I need to start get back in. I have so many things with swirls on it, and I just never do it. Um, I actually bought some stamps with swirls on them yesterday. So at the thrift store, I got a really good deal on some stamps that I'm gonna use on polymer clay. Um, what's this? Uh, I think it says Boulder Opal on the baggie, but I don't know if that's true. Yeah, this is Boulder Opal. That's pretty cool. Very nice. Looks like 10 millimeter. Still got quite a bit left in this bag. What are these? Um, these are check glass, little fire polish beads. Really cute. These actually, where did those place and they go? Those are the perfect color match for the cloisonne because they've got a little bit of hint of purple in them. I'll make sure I put those together. Some more of these little chunky beads in pink. Oh gosh, those are really pretty too. Got some shell, little blue hearts. We know I love this color and hearts. So cute, so cute. Some more shell. Very nice. Some more shell. <laughs> These are a nice salmon color. Very pretty. I dropped something. Oh, it's like a little Celtic thing. Very cool. I always test um, uh, brass looking, antique brass looking. Uh, charms because sometimes they snap because they're dried out and they're not really metal but these are this is a good one this one's good very cool Ooh, look at these nice lamp work beads doing this to rub the powder off them very cool i love those this look like a painting to me like my like a childhood painting those are really cool that would be nice on like a bright oceany necklace. Um, oh, some little check glass beads. I'm not gonna open these because I don't want to drop all of them. Oh, I haven't seen this shape before. Some halite, I think, or magnesite dyed. Very cool, very organic, but still kind of structured shape. They're not all the same though, that's really neat. I can just see like this whole strand spaced by some pretty cool um, beads and then a pendant and then you're done. You know, like not every necklace to be great has to be complicated. That's how I feel. Some of the prettiest necklaces I've ever seen were like two or three different styles of beads and that was it. Um, ooh, ooh, look at these. They have stripes. Oh my gosh, these would look great with Halloween stuff because they're black and orange. Oh wow, those are really cool. I love those. I definitely feel like this was a really good deal. I definitely feel like this was a definitely great deal. I'm going to um, probably de-stash some of it because I just don't see that it would work for me. But most of it, it's staying with mama. Purple skulls. Keeping these for sure. So cute. Whole strand of them. Oh, another strand of these. That's great. I can use that with the cloisonne. Oh, some more check. Little drops. Some, oh, what are these? These are from jo jo Joanne's, maybe? I think this is this is their line, but you know what, I, I don't know. I haven't seen these before. Okay, so it's two different types. We have some daisy spacers and then some little, um, they're calling it bamboo, but they're like a little bit dog bony shaped. Those are kind of cool, I like those. Oh, we've got some fans. I'll probably keep a couple of these and then do stash the rest it's quite a bit of fans oh it's a chain <gasps> you know I could probably do oh they're connectors okay I could probably just use this as a beaded chain um put a bead in between each one of these that would be really cool or just keep it this way see I do the snap test again I always do that before I just stash stuff too because you don't know like some of the metal that I've had for 10 years like it's just not made to last that long Ooh, designer series, premium quality. Um, this is a ceramic bead. And it doesn't need to stay in the baggie anymore. It's mine now. That is neat. That is definitely a focal piece. So cool. 
So cool. Love it. Got some orange glass. This almost looks, I can't tell. I thought it looked dyed for a second, meaning they just dye the outside of the bead, but I can't tell. It's really pretty color though. Ooh, some really nice check glass. I mean, I wasn't expecting really to get check glass in this, so that I did was amazing. I did think that there would be some African glass in here just because I thought she had some, and I thought I saw some in the pictures, but I'm not mad that there's any, there's none in here because there's so much cool stuff, and I have a lot of it. But this is, those are really neat. I always will take check glass every day of the week. More check glass. This is a matte clear. Very nice, little babies. And we have a really long strand of silver glass and they're coated, or gray glass, with white little stripies. And then, oh, really cute locket. He's kind of dinged up, but that gives him character. So pretty, and if I want, I can polish it, but I kind of like how dirty it looks. Not that I like that it's dirty, but that I like, like that it looks vintage and that it's been well loved. It was very pretty. What in the world? <laughs> we only have a few things left. What in the world is this? Uh, is an airplane? Is an air? It's a charm? A ring? That's interesting. I might keep like one or two, but I probably will just stash the rest because I honestly can. I, I can't really think of what the heck I'll do with those. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh, little hearts. I love that like things that I really enjoy make it into random picks, like check glass, hearts, um, we got some skulls, but like we're, we see recurring theme here, like there's hearts and a lot of check glass, and those are two things that I really appreciate. So look, these are adorable, perfect for earrings. So cute love those. I wish I wore earrings. Well, I do wear earrings, but I wish I wore dangly earrings. Um, oh gosh, why can't I think of the name of this? I think it's just like, oh gosh, I know the name of this and I can't remember. If I remember, I'll put it down below, but if I can't, I'm sorry. I can't know everything all the time. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? I have never seen anything like this. Now I need them in every color. Look at that. Okay, that's a what we like to call on this channel a big honkin' mama. My goodness, that is going to be so great between some huge, like, gemstones or something. And it's my birthstone. I love those. Those are so cool. I need them in every color. I've never even thought to imagine that they were that big in real life that somebody made them that big. Oh, these are cute. I want to make a bracelet immediately. Like that's the first thing I think of when I see these or use them as a button. So cute. They're frosted plastic. And then last but not least, we have another strand. We have a strand of gemstones, pink and gray. Um, it's not zebra Jasper. I can't, I don't really have a lot of this one. So I don't know the name just looking at it today. Got stumped quite a bit. So, Thanks for watching. Um, my favorite, <laughs> these big honkin' mamas. I really love this guy and this guy. And um, this glass. So actually, these all actually all of these kind of match each other. I don't know how I could get them all in the same same video or same piece of jewelry but it'd be kind of crazy if I did look at that oh, that's kind of cool I could hang I could put that on top put another big bead there and then hang the the locket below it and then get these glass chunks that necklace just came right along didn't it <laughs> all right well let me know what you think what was your favorite and I hope you stay tuned for gold you she's the cutest little thing on the, in the planet um, please like, subscri subscribe, and share, and um, let me know what you think. I ha hope you have a good day. Bye-bye. One more thing. This little adventuring um, pendant point. Just found it at the bottom of the bag. So cute.